trying to figure out a flasher relay problem. So I pulled the flasher and I've chased down some of the wires on the back. These connectors are labeled one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, now five is 49A. That's the load. Connection number two is 49. And that is connected to this pin right here. This one over here, this is number seven. In the back, it's connected to two brown wires. And this on the relay is pin number 31. This is the load. I'm just going to mark that. So 49A is sending out a signal here. Okay, so this is the diagram for my CE panel and plug number five, which is also marked E, is the flasher circuit. This wire right here with the dots on it, that's the flasher wire. So it plugs in like this and that wire is the first one the top one on the left okay it also has a uh, another wire attached to it so there are two wires in here there's one with the dots and the other one without the thin skinny one is a black wire with a white pinstripe that one I assume that one triggers the left and right turn signal and the flasher flashes all of them all together i'm assuming that because this one is thicker so it's controlling or it's um it's operating four lights instead of two which is on this side so this one can be thinner so that's my theory all right so this plug right here the first connection the first connection gets power from 49a so 49 goes down to here, which is the black wire with the yellow pinstripe. Okay, now this is supposed to be 12 volts and this is ground. So I'm gonna check all three of these to make sure there's continuity between here, between here and here. This is the uh, the hazard plug. So you can see the dotted wire is there. Now this wire, this black wire, this black wire right here should be sending 12 volts to plug E. So again, we'll check continuity and see if there's any break in the circuit.